Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom camera that will allow you to rotate around an object as well as have the ability to zoom in and zoom out. So this is great, for example, if you're creating your own maybe third person game or maybe you have a product that you would like to show off um, inside Unreal and you want to allow the, the person to rotate around your product. Now, with that being said, um, let's jump in and get started. All I have here is a blank scene. So I've just created a blank scene and imported these assets. So if I press the play button, as you can see, I just I can just move around. It's just the free cam. So let's press the escape key. And what we want to do is we want to set up our blueprint. So I'm going to right click inside the content browser and choose this option here that says uh, blueprint class. And under the blueprint class, we can choose this option that says pawn. Now a pawn is a is a class that essentially um, a pawn is essentially the class in which contains characters and vehicles and stuff like that. They're essentially um, classes that allow us to possess something. So let's press the um, pawn, and I'm going to call this tutorial. Oops, tutorial camera. Now I'm going to press the enter key to open this and we want to add in the key components. So we're going to be using three key components. First one is going to be the, the mesh in which we want to rotate around. So let's type in static mesh and I'm going to press the um, enter key to accept that. And I'm just going to click and drag in a mesh from over here. The next thing is we want to create a spring arm. So let's type in spring arm. And you can press OK. And last one is we want to bring in a camera. So let's bring in a camera and press the Enter key to accept that. Now I'm going to click the camera and I'm going to drag it onto the spring arm so it becomes a child of that spring arm. And I'm going to choose Compile. So let's jump over to the graph view. And well, actually, before we jump into the graph view, let's click and drag this into our game. And if we press the play key, you can see that actually we're still in this um, free camera mode and we want to change that. So we can change that right now. If we select the blueprint in which we've just created and under the, let's see, the option right here that says auto possess player, let's set this to zero. So when the game starts, um, basically this has become the, the first player and it's going to possess this. Now, this is not the, the best way to do this. The best way to do this is to set this up inside your game mode. Um, and that's something I've covered before. So I would uh, suggest that you would look at that um, if you want to look at uh, how to set this up um, permanently um, in that way. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose the quick way. So now if I press the play key, um, you can see that actually we start um, as the we start as the where the camera is so let's open this up and let's just jump back over here now the camera should be linked to the spring arm there we go maybe that will fix it maybe it looks appears if there's maybe some sort of bug there we go so let's fix that um so we can select the spring arm and we can change some of these values so i'm going to give this maybe a height of Oh, let's give this a rotation of maybe minus 15 and maybe a height of 100. Now if I press play again, you see that we kind of start up a little higher now. And we can change these values uh, later, but for now let's get into the graph and start to flesh out the, the main part of uh, our blueprint. So the first thing is we want to get the um, mouse position. So we're going to type in mouse X and mouse Y. So this is basically the up and down and left and right axis of our mouse. Now the next thing is we want to bring in the, the controller for the pitch and the yaw. So let's first start with the yaw. So let's click and drag and type in, um, we want to type in here, add, Control and we'll choose this one, add control yaw, and we can add the axis value into the value of the yaw. And we do the same thing over here, add our control pitch, and we can click and drag the axis value to the value over here. 
Now the next thing is we want to get the uh, get the camera rotation. So to do that, we just click over here and type in get uh, control get control rotation. Where is it? Get control. And let's uncheck the thing right here and get there. It is control. So let's try it. Let's um, let's try it like this. Set control rotation. Here we go. Let's try it one last time. Set control rotation. There we go. Finally got it. Now we need access to the um, pitch and yaw of this, so we can right click here and choose split pins, and this will give us access to the. Um, Z and Y, which is primarily what we want. Now, in order for us to set the controls for us to move up and down, we need to get the control rotation. So we click off here and choose, uh, let's just click get control rotation. And from here, we can right click and split these pins, and we want to plug the Y to the Y and the Z to the Z. Now, finally, from here, from the target, we want to choose Get Player Controller. Now, this is essentially it um, for the rotation. However, if we compile this and play, it won't work. Um, if I click Play, you can see that we have the blueprint set up, but it's not working. Now, the reason for that is we need to set the option, one of the options over here in the, in the spring arm. So let's select the spring arm. And we want to make sure we've got this option that says use pawn control rotation. We need to enable this. Now once we've done that and we press the play button, now we can move around our object. Now the next thing is we want to do is we want to set the, um, the ability to zoom in and out of this. So let's press the escape key and open this up. And let's make this full screen. And the next thing we want to do is we want to get the mouse up. So let's choose a mouse uh, up. So mouse wheel up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to set the target arm length. So let's choose set target. Uh, so let's add to this. Let's click away from here. And uh, first of all, what we can do is we can get the spring arm. So it might be better if we just bring the spring arm in. So let's get this and type in the get. And let's see, can we find it in here? Get target arm length. This is what we want. And we also want to set, so set, let's type in arm, set the target arm length. Okay, we can disconnect from here. And once we've got this set, we can plug this in over here. And what we need to do is we need to add a value. So it's essentially going to be, um, a float value so I'm going to type in minus and I'm going to choose float minus float and we can choose the value that we want so maybe 20 and we put this in over up into the target over here and we also need to put the target of the spring arm over here now if I compile this and then I click play so let's just bring this over to the bottom see that can be round and I can zoom in but I can't zoom out so that's really easy all we have to do is we can take this then we can press ctrl C and ctrl V uh, what we need to do is we need to set this to a minus value so minus 20 for example and we want to choose the wheel down so mouse wheel down and we can put this in over here and delete this and press the compile and then when we press play, you can see that now we can move around by moving the mouse button, uh, moving the mouse um, left and right, up and down. We can scroll in by using the scroll button to scroll inwards. 
and we can scroll out. So that's the uh, essentially the basics of um, this um, camera. We can um, tweak some of the settings to start off with the camera a little closer, for example. So um, maybe, because when we play this, it's, it's already quite far. Maybe we want this to be a little closer. So we can select the spring arm and maybe set this to about 100. Might be a little better and press play so okay so now we're a little closer it looks a little better okay so that's the basics of uh, this camera um i'd like to thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and until next time bye bye for now